Good morning, folks. We've got earthquakes, interesting turns in the physics world, something you can't miss from yesterday afternoon, and of course, space weather. We'll start there over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding the last 24 hours on our star was calm until about two hours ago when, top right, the departing sunspots let out their final cry. There was no big flare associated, and if it looks like the CME eruption was towards the limb and wholly away from our planet, you're right. 100% miss, and with it, the grouping began decaying and is almost gone this morning in the aftermath. The solar wind peaked in intensity yesterday, but you see the crest not even hitting 600 kilometers per second. Geomagnetic conditions are remaining calm since we exited the storm condition. We do have more streams on the way from the coronal holes turning through here. That CME we saw might be a miss, but we've got a great shot at having these impact with their intensified streams near the end of the week. The earthquakes continued in Papua and all around as well. Blot echoes at the transition and low velocity zones, four of them, and nearly due south of the primary breaks we saw 5.9 south of Australia. Folks, you may have seen this article last week, Hubble crushing some standard physics and sending NASA scurrying for some explanations. I think there is one explanation they missed and another they gave that has a sister left out as well, but all in all, Science is changing. And talk about throwing even me for a loop. At near absolute zero, you can have wide electron orbits that house more than a hundred atoms within them. Based on all deep space detection methods, we're either going to miss those atoms or read the atom as being one of a different nature. This throws so many kinks into space physics, I can barely describe it. Lastly, folks, our hour-long presentation yesterday tying the magnetic reversal, solar grand minimum, exodus from the cloud, loss of three shields, and the connections to health, weather, and earthquakes all in one place is posted. It was posted yesterday afternoon, and it is linked for you below. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.